talk about vowel length now. American vowels can sometimes sound very long and louder if the syllable is stressed or if the word is stressed. For example, if I say the word banana, banana has three syllables. Let's take a look. So we have banana. This second syllable is stressed. That means this vowel is going to be much longer. Repeat, banana, banana. So the a eh is going to be prolonged. Let's look at another word that has three syllables and also three a's. This time, the first syllable is stressed. This time, this a eh is really long. So don't say Canada, say Canada, Canada. So you need to ask yourself, which syllable is stressed? And when you know which syllable is stressed, make sure that you make the vowel really big. For example, let's take the sound ah, as in the word biology. We don't say biology, we say biology, biology. I'm studying biology. Or if we say photography, I'm studying photography. I really love photography. So prolong those vowels when the syllable is stressed. The same thing happens when the word is stressed. We stress verbs and nouns generally. We stress the key words. So if I say, I love my new class, the word class is a noun. So we don't say, I love my new class. We say, I love my new class. I love my new class. I love my new job. Make those vowels long in stressed words and in stressed syllables. Let's practice some sentences with stressed vowels. I love it. So don't say, I love it. Say, I love it. Make the uh really long. I have to call him. I have to call him. You're really tall. You're really tall. It's hot. It's hot. Let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. Here we're going to stress two words. We're going to stress job and hospital. I got a job at the hospital. I got a job at the hospital. So remember, prolong those vowels in stressed words and in stressed syllables.